Peace, you guys. Welcome to just us Jenkins or welcome back. If you're seeing me for the first time, I'm Jamila, stay at home homeschool and mama of three beautiful babies. I'm also a certified Reiki master, a oracle, a spirit whisperer, and a bunch of other cool things and owner of healingmama.com. Okay, today, you guys, I'm just kind of doing like a little series. People are always asking me, <laughs> mommies are always asking me how do I be a better mom how do I be a better mom I'm not a pro y'all but I just want to share some tips and tricks that I have been implementing in my life over the past 10 years being a mom so um you know it's it's rough it's rough out here in these mama streets okay and whatever help i can offer to help the next mama i'm gonna help okay but what really helps me is when it comes to cleaning because cleaning can be very freaking overwhelming i ain't even gonna hold you okay i stays a little overwhelmed with the cleaning but my kids are getting older they are able to help a lot more the most important thing is teaching your child how to clean properly okay not just thinking because they're around you all the time and they see you cleaning they're gonna know how to do it or expecting them to know how to clean like a teenager a young adult or like you would clean you literally have to show your children how to clean that's gonna take a lot of weight off your shoulders for present and in the future because they're gonna know how to clean and keep their space whether they're living with you they're living with their roommates they're living with their spouse they're living by themselves that they have that knowledge because i did not learn how to clean until i became a mom like real talk so how i try to kind of lessen the load on myself is i always try to keep the focal points of my house clean okay or as tidy as possible because i am busy i am a stay at home work from home mom i home school my babies and our house is very much lived in and so i try to do a load of laundry almost every day I'm not gonna lie does it get put away every day no <laughs> but i will wash dry fold my laundry and i will put it away when i get the chance i am diligently working okay right now in this moment to put it away put it away put it away and that also takes a little burden off of me because i'm teaching the kids now on how to put their laundry away because y'all laundry for five people you mommies that have more than three cheering blessings to you because baby girl <laughs> This mom of three be struggling. I got my laundry. I got Jarvis, my husband's laundry. And then the three beautiful babies. Baby, the dogs be having laundry. Like, it's a lot. So I am trying to get into the habit of putting my laundry away. But cleaning the focal points of my home first. Refreshing the focal points of my home, which in our home that we're in right now is our living room area our dining room area and our kitchen area and if i don't get right to it that's okay but usually in the rising when i wake that is my first chore to get it cleaned up and refreshed so then that way we can move on through our day rested relaxed and not stressed up and having stuff stick into our schoolwork and things like that so right now in this clip since I've been jabber jabbering, I am just washing the dishes, putting in the dishwasher. This is my first time ever having a dishwasher, you guys. And I absolutely love it. Okay. 
but I do make sure I get all the chunks and debris of foods off of the dishes and then I will put them in the dishwasher for a nice deep clean and a sanitizing clean and you know your girl likes to use plant-based but I do use this Dawn um, power wash on you know harder things as you can see in the background my puppy he laying in the clothes honey you see him laying in the clothes like if it's not the cheering up on me it's the dog okay but I love my life I can't complain but I just think it's funny every time his head is bobbing around <laughs> Um, I didn't get to show also after washing the dishes I like to wipe down everything and sweep but we'll show you that in the next one you guys and doing small tasks during the day small things I used to try to do the biggest things every single day that will burn you out also when you have your um, spatulas Take the wood part out, wash it oh, um, separate from the silicone because there's germs and gunk that gets up in there and sanitize it in the dishwasher because baby, black mold is a thing <laughs> and I found out the hard way. But you guys, I hope this was a nice little mommy tip for you guys. I'm going to keep coming up with the ones, the twos and the threes and the foes, okay? You guys know I'm long-winded. I digress. But just make every day simple. And then once a month is when I do the hard, the more harder things. So, yes, you guys. If you're new, we'd love to have you. Stick around, subscribe, ding the bell so you can get all of our notifications. And if you are one of old, our oldie but goodies, hey, girl, hey, hey, boy, hey, hey, y'all, hey, hey, fam, hey. And we're going to see you in the next one. Bye.